So our easy diagnostic tool comes pre-packaged with four AAA batteries. By removing the battery cover, you will be able to see how the batteries are supposed to be aligned inside the diagnostic tool. Be sure to use one of our Hunter screwdrivers um, for safety reasons. <laughs> anyway, if you want to program one of our easy decoders, first you have to open up the lid on top of that diagnostic tool and then insert the red and the blue wires into uh, the ports that are on top. Then what you want to do is scroll down to the program option, select station. It'll give you, and I don't have a picture of this, but it'll give you the station number or you'll be able to scroll through the station numbers. You just select the station and then hit the center button. As soon as you hit the center button, uh, the decoder will begin to program and you'll see this um, light or not the light, but uh, where it says the, the progress at the bottom of that screen. Once the decoder is programmed, the light on the decoder will uh, flash, it'll blink. And then on the diagnostic tool on the, on the screen, you'll have a check mark. Sorry, it's not visible here, but th that is a check mark. Then in, if you want to test that decoder, make sure that it programmed correctly. If you're not sure, or if you just want to test it, what I recommend doing is uh, connecting the decoder directly to the easy decoder module. Make sure the, the red is to the red and the blue is to the blue. Then run the station that you supposedly assigned to that decoder. If everything's good, your decoder uh, LED light on top will blink while the program is run or while that station is running. The other thing that you can do uh, while that station is running is use the diagnostic tool to read the decoder. So and all you do that is by placing the diagnostic tool on the bottom of that decoder while the station is running. And then uh, after you tell it to read it and it reads it, it'll tell you what station number it's been assigned to that decoder and if that station is on. Um, this is handy whenever you're troubleshooting a system and you're not sure what decoders are assigned and you just don't want to turn on every station and get soaking wet, what you can do is uh, turn on one station that's not part of the system. Let's say our decoder system goes up to 54 station. Let's say you're not using station 54. Just run station 54, go through all the valve boxes, um, connect this decoder tool on the bottom, ask it to read the decoder, and then it'll read the decoder that, uh, or it'll read that decoder. And you can do this on all the, on all the decoders in that system even if they're not meant to be running.